if another ministry may we stand up and sing that last hymn guide me O great redeemer as we take we see off the bishop oh may we keep standing and we receive the blessing from the bishop and then we shall recess draws you to himself the power of the Lord Jesus strengthens you in his service and the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts and may the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen May we join the choir in that last hymn. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can we take our seats? Um, thank you so much. We've gone through the church service and uh, of course the information from the keynote speaker uh, who has just left. We couldn't stay longer. Can you turn to your neighbor and congratulate them, mostly those uh, graduating? I, I am scared even lecturers are congratulating themselves. And it is okay. It is okay. I am seeing even top management that are congratulating themselves. I think that's a good one. I, at this particular hour, want to inform you that we are in time and nothing should really worry you. The program has turned a little and uh, right now we expect uh, DJ, the feedback of this microphone. Um, we expect a speech from the chairperson, DJ University alumni, and uh, I'm only wondering whether Madame Sylvia is in this congregation. Um, she might be still on her way. 
Uh, however, also to remind you that we shall have um, a souvenir. Ndeja University Management has organized a souvenir for every graduating student. So therefore, do not leave before you receive your souvenir uh, from Ndeja University. Ladies and gentlemen, we are airing live on Namirembe, um, Namirembe FM. 90, um, 3.9 and register. The members of the top management, faculty deans and administrators, our Graduates, you are most welcome and good morning to you all. I really feel so excited about this moment. Unfortunately, many of our graduates are missing out on this. The graduates have missed out on the beautiful commissioning and their addressed by our keynote speaker. It was really very beautiful. Can we give him a hand clap even in his absence? <laughs> Dear graduates, I want to welcome you so much for this 11th commencement lecture. I want to thank you so much for trusting in DJ. I want to congratulate you because you are, I think, the last cohort of the COVID. You are the people who knew what it meant. And you are the people who were the pioneers of the turning around of the way we instruct. And I know you are going to go to the work world and find it very convenient. Because when you go to the work world now, you make your applications online. So if you haven't really mastered that, as you go out, I want to encourage you to start trying it out. Make the internet your friend. Make ICT your rear guard. Uh, this must want to take you through the graduation etiquette. On 13th, we accept, expect you to observe the following, and that's what I want to take you through. So, while you're attending the ceremony, I want you to observe the following carefully so that you promote the good image of the university. You know, we have so many universities and some of you have attended functions. This graduation ceremony is supposed to be very, very celebrated. We are supposed to be very smart and really show people that you've been to school. Unfortunately, the times are changing. You go to graduation ceremonies and you think people are on Lombe or are in a marketplace. That's why I want you to be a unique cohort of people, and that's why I take you through this. One, we, we, are, going to uh, we are going to witness the presentation of diplo uh, certificates, diplomas, and degrees. And our vice chancellor will be calling upon the faculty deans to present the graduates, you people who are here, to present the, uh, the graduates to the chancellor, and they will be reading the names of the people who are going to uh, get diplomas and degrees. But the people with certificates, we shall just request them to stand up and they will be recognized. Uh, the people who will be uh, awarded diplomas and degrees will stand up. The people with diplomas and degrees have motorboards or what we, they locally call the heart. It's called a motorboard. So, all the gentlemen, how many gentlemen do we have here? The gentlemen. You know we are living in a world where people don't even know their gender. It's very good you know. You'll be required to take off your motorboards when your name is read, while the female will keep them on because of your hair, but you'll just touch them. And all the graduates will remain standing as the a chancellor awards them their certificates, diplomas, or when he confers degrees upon the people who are going to get the degrees. 
if you are here and you are going to be uh, to get a certificate, I want to tell you what you are supposed uh, supposed to observe specifically. You will wear a gown only. I'm emphasizing that one only. Today we are seeing kindergarten children putting on a motorboard, a gown, a hood. And really, it's really embarrassing the education system. So, all the people of the uh, will be uh, getting certificates will be requested to stand up as a group. And they will be congratulated by the chancellor. You are not going to uh, walk ahead and we are not going to read your names. And the people with diploma will wear their gowns and motorboards only. Please don't put on a hood. That one will come when you further your education. This will also remain standing in their places and will be congratulated by the chancellor. But the men must remove their motorboards off their heads, like I've said. And they will put them back after being congratulated by the chancellor. The women will just touch the motorboards. Then the people getting degrees and graduate diploma, these are degree and graduate diploma graduates, they will stand up when their names are read. The men will put off their motorboards from their heads while the women will touch them. And after being conferred upon by the chancellor, the men will put back their motorboards on their heads. Then we have the graduates, the master's graduates, this will stand up. Do we have any people who are getting uh, masters in here? Yes, he's one of them. You'll be an ambassador to your colleagues. When your name is read, you'll stand up and line up before the rostrum. And you remove your motorboards. That's what you'll come, you extend near the chancellor and shake hands with the chancellor. Getting a master's is a, a greater achievement. So. We give you the opportunity to come nearer the chancellor, shake hands with him, and after he has conferred the master's degree upon you, you'll put back the motherboard. And then we have our last category, and that is the doctor of philosophy graduates. The dean will read out their names and tell the chancellor that, Mr. Chancellor, sir, I prevent, present you the following candidate who has satisfied the requirements for, for the award, for the confirmation of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Ndeje University. The person who is getting the PhD will walk. The graduate will stand up when his name is read, remove the hood. Now the people of PhD will remove the hood and walk towards the chancellor and his or her citation would be read, a very uh, a snapshot of what their PhD dissertation is about. It will be read as he walks towards the chancellor, and he will hand over his hood to the dean of the faculty, and these PhDs are in the faculty of business administration. The dean will hand over the hood to the chancellor, and the chancellor will rob our potential doctors as they kneel before him. So we find that it's only the names of the people getting degrees, diplomas, masters, and PhD, which will be read. And I want to inform you and request you, dear graduates, to observe the following. All graduates must resume their seats after being awarded or conferred upon their diplomas or degrees. Please, let's treat this function with the value it deserves. Please don't walk around shouting and making noise after you have been uh, uh, awarded or conferred upon your uh, achievement. Please sit down and wait. We are not going to take a lot of time. And another thing, you are you requested to restrain yourself from loitering and embracing relatives or taking pictures in the graduation quadrangle. You know, sometimes we are overtaken by excitement and people make all our relations and we distract the function. Please, we shall celebrate at your parties. When we come to attend your parties, we shall celebrate, we shall hug and shout at the top of our voices. But let's reserve that for the parties and not for 13th. 
shouting and whistling in a big gathering is not really for the educated. It's really rather for the rather primitive. So please, let's avoid it. Let's remain dignified. And do not move out of the graduation arena until the graduation function is completed. We are going to be very brief, and we are targeting that by half past midday, latest we shall be done. So we request you to be very, very patient. And another thing is that remember to honor the function in its entirety until it ends without any disturbance. And after it has ended, when the chancellor dissolves the congregation, you are free to move, shout, move, and go everywhere you want. And we are saying, please observe time. We expect to start by 8, so we expect you to be seated. Uh, we have our route, the main route, all of you who know the main campus. But in case you find there is jam, we have another alternative which goes through Nandeli. You go to uh, about 7 kilometers from the main turn off in a, a small uh, town called Kaluli and the branch of you'll see the direction and the prompts and you'll be able to get to Ndeje University. We wish to remind you that you should take care of the core values of the university and abide by them and promote them. Uh, and our core values are humility, dependability, integrity, harmony, and being responsive citizens. So, we are reminding you that as you leave the university, Ndejo University is your mother. We all know that there is no one who disgraces their mother. In fact, if you disgrace your mother, you become a disgrace. Now that you are obtaining your academic documents, especially the undergraduates, Ndejo University is your mother. And all of us, each one of us has ever had a mother. Some of our mothers may have gone to be with the Lord, but we treasure and cherish our mothers. So Ndeje University is our alma and please enroll as an alumni. We are going to see the chairperson of the Ndeje alumni, the old girls and old boys, yeah, in brief. So please register. There are so many activities. And the Dean of Students here is information about the Ndeje University convocation activities. And another thing I want to uh, inform you about is that on the 13th, we are going to give out academic transcripts and certificates to the people who have cleared. If you have cleared and given us a signed copy of your results from arms and submitted them, these documents are already ready. So on that day, if you are not running very fast to serve food, please, the faculty administrators will be in place. We are going to inform you where they are. In the offices, you'll be given your academic documents and you'll go with them on that day. Please come with your, with your clearance form and you'll get them and we shall serve them. And you'll be very happy because I know many of you are looking forward to applying for jobs or seeking employment. So. You are supposed to present the clearance form as proof of full payment of all the university dues. And another thing is that it, it is a modern trend that all employers want certified copies of your academic documents. The university does this at a minimal fee. We always encourage you to do that. It becomes cumbersome if you don't certify your documents and you get a... a an opportunity to apply for a job and you have to run. You know, some people call even in the middle of the night and say, you know, they needed this by yesterday and you really get so apprehensive. We encourage you that when you come, at least make many copies. You know, when someone comes and makes only one copy of the certificate and one of the transcript, you may need them at another date. So please part with some little amount of money and certify your documents. And I always encourage you, we are living in a dot-com generation. Have e-copies of this. When someone says there is a job opportunity, even as you sit here, you just forward it. You may not need to move or run to the offices. That is a smart way of doing things. Uh, we are no longer doing with what people used to say, hard work pays. 
it is smart work which pays. So you need to be very smart as you transact business. Uh, we have specific days when we really certify these documents and even give out documents to the people who may not have picked them on the day. Actually, Monday days are very busy days for us, but we issue documents from Tuesday up to Thursday, and we are always there. Please, observe those dates so that you don't get really disappointed. Because, you know, some people come very early in the morning and you find Monday is the busiest day of the university. We have meetings. We have so many things to attend to. So please come during those days. We are going to attend to you. And lastly, the people who have, are getting diplomas, are there people with diplomas, getting diplomas on 13th? Put up your hands. Yes. Then first degree bachelors, where are you? There are many. And then masters, I saw one gentleman. I want to tell you, Ndeje University has the whole pros uh, uh, spectrum of degrees. The people for diplomas, please, we have degrees, enroll for our degrees. People who are uh, graduating with them at first degrees, enroll for postgraduate diplomas and masters. At least every faculty in the university has a postgraduate diploma and a master's. And then the people who have masters, our PhD in business management has 25 options, so you can fit in there. Last year, we graduated people, even engineers in our PhD. Please enroll with us, and I want to congratulate you and wish you God's blessing. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Academic Registrar. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give her some serious hand clap? It seems to yeah, thank you. Um, at this hour, I want to uh, reconfirm if the chairperson, alumni, um, is in this house. Um, I think she hasn't arrived yet. Um, Madam Vice Chancellor, we have coordinators of different classes graduating. So the different faculties organized certificates uh, to recognize these members. Uh, kindly, can I see the coordinators stand up if you are here? The coordinators that are graduating from different classes. It is also possible uh, to coordinate others and you don't graduate. <laughs> so this is very good, uh, a very nice sign. Can you come forward and um, you get recognized by the vice chancellor. Please step forward. Come here. Um, quite assurance um, is in charge of this. I can see she's organizing to bring those certificates. And. Um, Okay, can I request the choir to give them a very nice kasong eh, as they are getting recognized? Um, she's here, the certificates are right here. We know there are quite a number, but we shall only recognize uh, we shall not read their names, they will only pick the certificates and are recognized by the Vice Chancellor. Okay, 
thank you so much. Um, Madam Vice Chancellor, we are not going to read names. We shall do this ceremonial. You get the certificates. We take a photograph, and later on, you get your real certificates from Madam uh, right here. So you can pass over the certificates. Just one statement of thanks to you all for the wonderful work that you've done over the years at Indeja University. May God bless you. You've been leaders, and I pray that you also continue to lead where you will go to serve. Lead in different capacity and lead with a difference. Amen? God being your helper. Congratulations. to lead us with the ushers um, in uh, distributing the souvenirs meant for our graduating class. I think uh, they should be ready. Um, we shall do that as we request the grace harmonies to continue with the, song, uh, the same song. Actually, uh, let's make sure that even the grace harmonies get the souvenirs because they have done a very nice work. Can you clap for yourself? Hey, thank you. <laughs> as kind, let's do it very fast. Let's do it very, very fast.
And I think that process has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to announce with much joy, Madam Vice Chancellor, that this year we have two overall uh, students, um, best female and best male, uh, outstanding uh, students. And uh, the male is um, Okay, um, I, I have announced that. <laughs> um, I've been uh, restricted not to mention those names. I think there is something that is very big uh, for them. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to now um, request Madame Florence to come and announce the first class students who are going to receive their accolades from the Vice Chancellor and top management. For that purpose, we shall uh, organize a very, very nice group photo uh, that is going to be taken from uh, this pulpit. Now, when your name is announced, please, you step forward and uh, you receive the accolade from the Vice Chancellor. And later on, we shall have a group photo with top management, uh, Madam Florence. Um, this is going to be a very fast activity. We requested all the first class students to be here. We called them. So we are going to give the, their certificates here. In case a person did not come, uh, we will give it to the administrator who will find you at a later stage to give it to you. Let me request the academic registrar to represent and the chairperson dean's forum to represent the deans and the vice chancellor. So they are going to come forward here. And the vice chancellor. My, I'm going to read out the name. So as a student, I'm going to give it to the dean who will give it to the AR and the vice chancellor will give it to you. It's mm -hmm. going to be very fast, so just be alert. So, Mangola Arnold. Okay. Kanakulia Henry. We want to congratulate this, these students. We observed that the performance wasn't so, so good this year. We don't have a 5.0. We don't have a, a 4.8. We don't have a 4.7. That's how bad it was this year. But we want to congratulate them for having attained first classes. <laughs> Daniel Jok, Ryok Jok. You will train me to say these names better. Congratulations. Daniel has maintained being on the vice chancellor's list for almost three or four semesters. Congratulations, Daniel. Moy Emmanuel. Nkuzingoma Habat. Babidia Faith, please come forward. <laughs> Namaganda Harriet Teddy has a distinction. Congratulations. Mwesigwa Jonathan Chigeni. Uh, Jonathan is a muzukulu to the academic registrar, but I'm sure he did not cheat. <laughs> anyway. 
Dow Andrew Garang has also maintained being on the vice chancellor's list for a very long time in his academic journey. Congratulations, Andrew, for having attained a first class. Mohindo Ronald. Sengoma Shafiq. And Danyango Harriet. Those are the people around. Sengoma Shafiq. Anyango Harriet. There is one more coming. Thank you very much. Um, Olua Tom, we almost missed you out, sorry. And Magola Arnold. Yes, Magola also did a DIM. He got a first class in the bachelor's and a first class in the diploma. Congratulations. Got a distinction and a first class. The rest of you who have not come early, we will give them to the administrative assistants. <laughs> a Doc Desmond has also maintained being on the vice chancellor's list. At least that's a name I've been seeing for quite a while. Congratulations, Desmond. That's all. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. For information, this year we have 35 first class students. Um, the first, the gentleman has a 4.7, 4.75. And the girl has a 4.46. Congratulations. Thank you, Florence, for that elaborate information. Now, when you get a chance to be recognized, you really take it on. Don't, why don't you come in front and we take a group photo with the management? Yes, here. Come back. Come back with, with your certificates. We, we take a group photo with management. Um, I will ask the deans kindly for this very small moment we, we shall shift our seats right here and we capture this uh, particular uh, banner. Um, the vice chancellor may remain in her seat where she is, so top management and deans we can bring our seats here and we, we take that um, photo. Uh, we stand according to our height. Yeah. <laughs> Told the vice chancellor may not be seen very well with this table, so kind, kindly we shift the table. Uh -huh. um.
can safely sit here doing engineering, you can take it on here. Um, I, I would like to invite one person from the congregation, Mr. Baguma, very senior lecturer, to come and be in this photo. It is a, a momentous occasion. Uh, please come. Even Reverend, you come. Come be part of this. Uh, Reverend Dr. Katate, you should be part of this. Kindly do it very fast. Thank you. Um, photographers. I don't want to be part of it. <laughs> You can't afford to hold a certificate of that nature and you don't smile. You should smile, really. Okay. Take as many photos as possible. Don't worry. Take them. Now, graduates, you leave. Can we have the deans now behind uh, top management? And the deans alone with top management, kindly. Um, uh, you can sit if you are seated. It is okay. Let's have the deans and top management take their photo. Uh, Dr. Talengera, the seats here. We can. harmonies have a chance to take that photo the grace harmonies uh, the deans you can assume your seats the grace harmonies please get this chance uh, we need you in your, one of our calendars so these are uh, very nice uh, photos they happen once uh, in a while um, uh, you couldn't come singing <laughs> so uh, singing is left for the congregation uh, the organist kindly play the same song the congregation will sing uh, in the same way we stand according to our height so that everyone is seen yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We assume our seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to continue appreciating Namirembe FM and uh, Ndeje University TV for airing this event live. 
Thank you so, so much. And uh, also to appreciate is everyone who has had their hand in organizing this uh, event. We're almost coming to an end of it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a bite. We have refreshments. Uh, therefore, we shall not leave before them. Um, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome the Vice Chancellor, Reverend Colonel Professor, uh, to give us a closing prayer and also bless us. Welcome with me, the Vice Chancellor. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm so thankful to God for this day. I'm very, very thankful to the graduates who have managed to keep time. On the 13th, please keep time because we should be done with a, every business by one. So if you come late, you may miss out. So please wake up early and come, keep time and be smart because you're the first group that has graduated with me as your vice chancellor. So I, wa I want to honor you as you also keep time and play your part and encourage your parents, friends and family to wake up early and we have our ceremony. So we are going to stand and honor God as we thank God for blessing us. I want to thank the organizers of this um, ceremony. I want to thank the chaplain and I want to thank the academic registrar and her team and all the members of management that have participated in this ceremony, in organizing uh, everything. I also want to thank the deans. Thank you so much for working diligently to ensure that we can have our graduation um, on the 13th. And I pray that the good Lord may continue blessing you as you continue serving. And the beautiful, beautiful angelic choir, thank you so much for your service. And then the Ndeje TV and the Ndeje TV and um, is there any other? And Namirembe FM, thank you so much for your service. And the today's ushers, those dressed in dark blue and light blue, a very beautiful blend. Those have done wonderful service. Thank you so much. And also for the staff here at Namirembe Diocese for organizing for us this space. We've been very comfortable and we pray that the good Lord may bless you. We honor God for all the parents that have... Are there parents here present? No parent, no guardian. Put up your hand if you're a parent or guardian. Oh, praise be to God. Thank you so much for honoring your son, your daughter. Next time when we organize this ceremony, we should invite the parents as well to witness um, they, they are to see their children receiving um, the first class and all other um, awards that we do on this day. And it is a great honor for the parents and also for the students. I would be happy to receive a first class award in the presence of my parent. My mom was around when I graduated with the first class, but my dad had already gone in heaven many, many years ago. So I really want to thank and uh, bless the name of the Lord for the parents. And so we are going to pray. Blessed Father, we give you honor and glory. We thank you that you love us so much. We thank you that you have seen these, your sons and daughters, join Ndeje University from day one, the many years they've spent at Ndeje, the wonderful experience that they have shared with each other, and all the service 
that they have received from Mundeja University. The learning and also their own experience in interacting with each other and even sharing their wisdom with us all. We thank you, Lord, and bless your name. We, Lord, bless you also for this day that we've received our guest of honor, wonderful time you have given us. And most of all, you've given us the gift of life. Some of the students have not been able to participate in this because they are not feeling well. Some are already with you, Lord. So we give you thanks and glory. We also thank you for the lecturers, the deans, and all members of management and staff at Indeja University for the work well done and for the service that is relentless. We give you honor and glory for the many blessings that you have showered on us, especially for those who served as class leaders and in different capacities of leadership in the university. I just pray, Lord, that you continue blessing them. Bless their going in and coming out. Open doors of service, creativity, and innovation so that these your sons and daughters may lead in all the development that you have mapped out for them in this world. We pray for inspiration and protection from above. We pray for wisdom and we also pray that you may help them become men and women of stature in their service as they continue to lead and serve in this nation and in this world. And may the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you, upon your family, upon your loved ones, and all those who pray for you and pray for Ndeja University. And may the blessing be upon all the activities that are remaining for the graduation ceremonies. And may this blessing continue showering us with a gift of hope that we receive in your son Jesus Christ now and always. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We can take our seats. Um, we are not in a hurry to go anywhere. We still have our time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we organize um, for the ref refreshments, I will request the grace harmonies to have your space. And uh, let us sing. Let's sing for the Lord. Yeah? Let's sing for the Lord. Uh, grace harmonies, the space is all yours. gentlemen, the graduates, and uh, particularly graduates, uh, when you feel you are done, uh, we shall leave at leisure. Um, the refreshments are right here. I think we shall pick as we go out uh, for purposes of better arrangement. 
uh, as we leave, we shall pick uh, something and we go with it. And uh, particularly staff, uh, you remain behind. All staff, kindly, you are requested to remain behind. Thank you. Good morning, our dear distinguished viewers. This is Indeje TV. You can catch us on Go TV channel 842. Yes, we are here at Namurembe Cathedral, Bishop Dunstan Suga Hall. Our university has held an, a commencement lecture where students are being motivated and are being taught on how to survive the world out there after their school time. So, this is the 11th commencement lecture. As you can see behind, oh, that thing is there. The building and mending for the four. For the glory of God, that was our theme today. We had very many speakers came out. Our keynote speaker was Rev. Land Chicholuwalida, though he has left earlier. So a lot of students came in, and uh, with me I have one of the first class degree attendants. He's going to tell us his name and how he managed to get the first class degree. 
Hello, sir. Hello. How good. are you? I'm good. Okay, your name's first. Uh, my name is Magola Arnold, and uh, a student at Ndeji University. Okay, thank you so much. So, I've seen you are getting a certificate of having a first class degree. Um, in which course did you get the first class? Actually, I've, I've been doing a bachelor's in uh, secondary teaching, and I managed to get a first class. And I also got a distinction in institutional management and administration. Okay, so how has, how has that course taken you? Actually, uh, resilience and believing in God, know what you want and stay focused, everything can be possible. Thank you so much for attending the first class. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, um, we are going to move to the vice chancellor and we have a simple talk with her. You come with me, we we'll go and find her. She's up here. Let's talk to her for... I want to see how she feels on this day. <clears throat> our dear distinguished viewers of Nege TV, I'm here with our own Vice Chancellor, Reverend Ray Trevrand Cannon. Yeah. Reverend Cannon. Nasaka. Yes, I'm here with her. We are going to have a small chat with her and we'll see how she feels on this day. Good morning. Good morning. Our Vice Chancellor. So um this is your life at Nege TV. So I want you to tell us how do you feel on this on this day? Yes, we I feel very happy and thankful to God that uh, we've been able to give thanks and also have our commissioning for our students as they go out to graduate on the 13th of October but also we had our commencement lecture given by the Right Reverend Bafost Chorualira, Bishop of Namirembe Diocese. So we are so happy and thank God for the fire has brought us. Okay, Vice Chancellor, we are very happy. I have seen very many people getting first class degrees. How did you maintain this, like, that you have a lot of people getting first class degrees, as in there are very many? Yes, um, we are graduating 2,000 students um, in different programs, and so 35 is a, 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 a small number um, compared to the 2,000. But above all, we are grateful because the first class students are really first class students. They've been excellent um, all around. They are involved in leadership, they are involved in games, they are also excellent in academics. So we are grateful to God and we pray that our students may continue working hard and honoring God by their good performance and service. Okay, mm. so well, um, we, our graduation is scheduled for the 13th of October. So what should we expect on that day? Yes. How is it organized? Yes, our graduation is um, scheduled for 13th of October and we expect all our guests and students to, are, to be at Bombo campus um, at 8 and should all be smart, take our seats on time, keep time. We are going to be on time and on that day we expect to have um, students graduating with certificates up to PhD uh, level. We also expect to have guests uh, from different parts of the nation and so I pray that you all turn up early, smart and keep time in all that you do. We intend to have that whole ceremony held in just um, a few hours so that by 1 p.m will be out of the arena, graduation arena. And we also expect to give out all the transcripts and certificates of the graduates on that very day. So I pray that you all turn up so that you can take um, your space for graduation and also completely and we also receive all our certificates in time. Okay, thank you very much, Vice Chancellor. Madam Canon Nasaka. I am Reverend Canon Reverend Professor, Canon Olivia, Professor Nasaka. Olivia Nasaka. Thank you so much for the great interview. So dear, can, um, dear our graduates, you have heard very well from her. Please keep time. 
be there in time so that you don't miss out. If the ceremony will take will not take too long so that you can go and have your ceremonies as planned. Therefore, you be there on time so that you don't miss out on this special equation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank bless you too, madam. So um, on okay. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So um, we still, we still have very. viewers hi good morning good morning to you are welcome to the jtv your life okay i want first of all to tell our dear viewers your name my name is anyango harriet i've been a student of Ndeje. i was pursuing a bachelor's degree in information science and secretarial studies and I'm so blessed that I'm an undergrad. And the unique part of it is with a first class oh, degree. Of it's very unique. Yeah. Unique. So, um, how long has this course taken you? Actually, it has taken three years. Three years. Yes. So, how have you managed to go through those three years and eventually come out with a first class? Actually, the three years we have been involved in a lot of stuff, like reading books, doing research. And the challenge COVID yeah, yeah, yeah. actually in the University is a unique university. Oh, we did not, not really that. break down. During the COVID time, we resumed and switched on to online studies. We could study online and we did online exams. It was interesting. We managed to come and out we managed to class. pass, yes. The unique part of it, what made me actually get a class, I as by the help of God and also hard work to read books and also to discuss for my friends. And whenever I could do, prepare to go and discuss, I used to prepare so much, read and understand. So by the time I reached presenting or discussing for my friends, I knew almost everything. So that one helped me. And even on the exams when I was on a paper, I could recall how I was discussing and really. God helped me and I answered them well. Madam Harriet, you're welcome. You have At our first class. We are going to go ahead and interview more students on how they managed to. You are close like no one. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. My name is Marshall Miro. I'm a graduate with a degree journalism and communication and yeah it's been commencement lecture oh journalism and by the way i'm also taking journalism and mass communication so i think i'll graduate with a first class probably yes um, <laughs> okay. i wish you the best hopefully. thank you so much so yeah. um, how has the course taken how long has it taken well it has taken three years i started in january 2021 oh, wow. and now finally been able to complete in uh, may uh, this year so it's been a very good blessing. I've been able to be a leader, a class coordinator, and also participate and represent Ndeje, uh, regional and uh, international games. So it's a good, it's a good thing to be a so university yeah, You are student. also in into sports. After yes. graduating in the field of journalism, you are also graduating in the field of sports, I yes. think. Yes. Okay, I understand. Yeah. So how do you feel that you are one of the great ones we have today? Well, I feel so good that, you know, next week I'll be graduating and it's a, it's a blessing and it's God's glory. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Marshall, for your time. I wish you all the best. Remember to invite us on the party. We have to eat and yeah. drink. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Very much. So, uh, uh, here at the 11th commencement lecture, we're going to invite a lovely lady. Uh, She's going to be part of us. Please take a seat. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes, you are very much welcome uh, to this uh, 11th commencement lecture. The lady I have with me is called uh, Na Nakito uh, Livia. She's a chairman, uh, alumni. Yes, you are very much welcome. 
Thank you. Please tell us a, a bit about yourself. My name is Nachito Sylvia. I'm an alumni of Deja University. I graduated in 2014 with a first class. I'm a public administrator and uh, I work with the United Nations as an administrator. Oh, that's very good. So you work with the United Nations, right? Yes, I do. The offices in Uganda. Yes, I do. Oh, that's a very, very top position. Well, it's so good that, you know, she graduated over almost nine years ago. And so how did you become part of the Ndeji alumni? Uh, tell us about that. Well, uh, what can I say? I'm about the university. You know, we're discussing about issues, what to do and all that. Uh, we a group with issues. Mm. And... Uh, And yeah, with the chairperson. Okay, so for how long have you been the chairperson of the alumni? Uh, the interim, but it has yes. been kind of like five years. I okay. think because of COVID, yes. that's why we fell off the tracks and we didn't maybe you know fulfill what we did in okay. the past. Okay, that's that's very that's that's very good. So, what uh, message do you have for the graduates who are going to graduate next week from DJ University? Yeah. It was tough. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to reach degree, your doctorate, your master's, and whatever they have attained. Yeah. So for that, I really, really congratulate them. Yeah. And the theme yeah. says, yeah. having graduated from a Christian university, I implore them to put in the forward and bring that we have been told. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Everybody wants a. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Supposed to have value. Even watching. That's what we call integrity. Yeah. I want them to have. I know, very true. Minus hard work, which is a very important ingredient in society. Uh, integrity is important and discipline and you know with these core values you know graduates you can be able to be employed and work out there very well so what message do you have for the graduates um, if if they want to join part of the alumni we had the vice chancellor inform them that they can be part of the Ndeji alumni because Ndeji University is our mother so how can they how, how what is the procedure to join that alumni team uh, first and foremost we're going to form a WhatsApp group yes. that, we, that we have. We know the skills and the amount of there's anything that needs to be done. Any, or there's any opening. That's the first step. The second step is that we're thinking of maybe opening up a Facebook page where all the alumni can congregate together and we share ideas and then we mentor them okay because we've been in the in the world so to speak longer than them yeah. so we are welcoming them is a mentor so okay. we welcome them we want them to first and foremost form group yeah. so that we can be communicating from there and yeah. then maybe before two months we should be having a, uh, a page oh yes us can meet and then we share ideas and we take it from there oh that is very very good of you to have joined us today and will you be attending our graduation next week i'll try to be there okay so madam slivia we are so happy and grateful to have had you and may god continue to bless you bless you and thank you for having and me yes, just be ready to have more of the graduates joining thank the you. alumni team including they myself welcome. they are most welcome and you are most welcome. yes i'm going to get her, her contact so uh, the graduates who are uh, willing to join part of the alumni team yes uh, we shall be in touch with her yes not a problem yes thank you so much thank you for having yeah. well Madam Slivia, who is part of the DJ alumni team, and uh, well, it's, it's been a great, great day here at the commencement lecture. You know, uh, my like my, uh, serving for the glory of God is very, very, it's a very, very important thing.
And uh, well, I would like to invite my colleague. I'd like to invite my colleague, and uh, well, she can take us and she can conclude here this show. Yes, you're very much welcome again. I'm here with uh, this uh, beautiful, lovely lady. Please, madam, uh, tell us more about yourself. Uh, my name is Mary Mutiaba Wanda, the academic registrar of Ndeje University. Yes. Uh, Miss Mary, how long have you been serving at Ndeje University? Mm, I've been uh, the academic registrar for the last five and a half years. Yes. Yes. Well, it's a, it's a great blessing to have you today. How have you mm. seen the, the, um, the commencement lecture today? Has it been enjoyable for you? Yes, the commencement lecture has really v been so lovely. You know, we've uh, commissioned the students who are going out in the world. But as a Christian university, we believe it's yes. very important yeah. to commit whatever we do in the hands of God. Yeah. And we've commissioned these our students so that as they go out in the work world, the yes. blessing of the Lord may go yes. with them. And the keynote speaker has given them tips of how to be successful in life. Yeah. And he talked about his testimony of humble beginnings. Yeah. And it was so encouraging because, you know, when you see people up there, you may think they started up there. But he has detailed his journey yes. and told us from the humble beginning and yes. how the Lord has taken him up there. Yes. And I think it's an encouragement because this generation... Many of the uh, people we are looking at want fast things. I don't know whether you've heard about the saying of people who live campus. Yeah. They have a formula of one, two, three, and four. Yeah. And, and they, leave, they leave the university. Yeah. They want to marry one wife, mm -hmm. have two children, a three-bedroom mm -hmm. house, and yeah. four, a four-wheel drive. Yeah. But those don't come easily. Yeah. And that's why many people get tempted and do wrong things. Yes, it's yeah, very yeah. it's very important yeah. to yeah. for us so, graduates to mm. have those humble beginnings. Yes, humble beginnings. Mm. As long as your track record is very clear, yeah. you can account for everything you've gotten. Yeah. That is what we are aiming at. Yes. Getting people who are really who have integrity at yes. their home. That's yes. why our theme was yes. uh, the gospel and yes. professionalism. Yes. Building and meaning for the kingdom of God. Mm. As they build the nation you find there are some things which have gone wrong. Yes. And of course, all of us agree that there are some of the things which are a pain in the neck mm -hmm. as far as the country is concerned. Yeah. But we are sending out change makers who can be able to build, but also mend, bring a difference where the things have gone wrong. Of course, that is very beneficial. And Deja yes. University, as our mother university, yes. has been able to gift us with all these uh, lessons because yes. we, when we started in year one we had Christian ethics yes. so you can see that with this mm. be hard working yes. and uh, these are very good lessons for us to have yeah. uh, how many graduates are you expecting uh, we are year? expecting about 2,000 graduates 2,000 oh. oh that's good yes but 
the unique thing is that the percentage of women is higher than that of men. Yeah, the okay. women are standing at 52 percent, while the men yeah. are at 48. Yes. Okay. Yes, and maybe the unique thing is that we are having our second cohort of PhDs. Okay. We are three. Yes. And for me, I think that is really very good. We yes. are. Um, progressing right track. yes we had it three last year La and, and we're having three this year and next year hopefully five Very good. and it the unique thing with this graduation mm. we have a new bishop from yeah. south uh, south sudan yes graduating with a phd yes yes so we can university mm. oh yes. what what how can you encourage mm. these uh graduates with degrees to push for masters and PhD oh like I told them yeah. you know we are living in a world where education that is, there is a lot of increase in knowledge so having a diploma and a first degree I'm sorry to say is mm. not enough yeah you you are like in a in a forest yes and if you have to stand out of the crowd yeah. you need to go for and you have to be special yeah, you will need to go for higher education you yeah. go for postgrad and even the masters are becoming too many, by the way. Yeah, they are So that's why I encourage people not to stop at masters, masters and but go for and PhD. PhD. Yeah. yeah, there are so many people with degrees. Yes. On the day we are graduating, there are almost about five institutions which are graduating. Yeah. So you can see the suffocation of first degree. And so many and so much yes. competition. Yes. So yes. as long as the means and the resources allow, I encourage people, especially the young, to immediately embark on postgrad studies. Mm. Yes. Okay, well, so we thank you so much uh, to our thank academic so registrar for joining us today. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see you next week Friday yeah, on yeah. the graduation. Thank you so much, Indeji TV. God bless you. Thank you.